book lovers of the internet welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber i get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice so don't forget to leave a like on the video because today i will be reviewing dead man wonderland volume 8 this one is by much like the rest of the volumes in the series by jinsei kataoka and kazuma kondo so this one has about 210 pages i rated it four out of five stars and I thought that it was structured quite well, what with the dead men we're so in love with going against the Ninben. So for some context, the Ninben are the people who are designed to be uh, dead men who are artificially created to have these powers in their own blood. So yeah, just a bit of a heads up, there will be several spoilers in this video because I don't know how to review a manga volume without spoiling anything since the spoilers are basically the whole story in a manga volume but i think that senji is such a cool character and every time he comes up i feel as though he knows what he's doing he knows exactly um, how the battle will conclude and he is fantastic overall but what i enjoyed most while reading this volume was how one of the ninben had the power to bring up the tragic pasts of her opponents and causing them great pain great emotional and physical pain simultaneously, which is something that very few characters are capable of doing, and I think it's a very powerful thing to be able to do. Kind of like Wanda does in the Marvel Universe, um, when she becomes the Scarlet Witch. Um, it is also pretty neat how the original characters all win their fights, however, this volume ends on a twist, whereby we're told that Shiro is the wretched egg, or the red men we've heard so much about, and she is also about to kill Ganta for some reason, and all of this after they protected each other during their battle, and finally admitted that they're in love, and it's something very strange to see, because they've known each other since they were kids, they've been friends for a very long time, and I don't see how uh, Shiro will possibly be manipulated to kill Ganta, it's very strange to me how um, the author will find a way to, to make that happen. So there is also this character who can apparently exchange body parts like the Uchiha clan can swap eyeballs. Um, and in doing so, he is basically going to be very powerful since he's doing a Frankenstein, basically, but with body parts that contain what makes the dead men so powerful. So I have a feeling that Ganta is about to start his villain arc after all he went through after he discovers that Shiro is in fact not on his side which is completely contrary to what we've been led to believe as readers during the first seven volumes at least. And yeah, I think Ganta's going to become one of the most powerful people in Dead Man Wonderland and he's going to seek revenge in any way he can. He already said that he doesn't care about the world anymore because he now understands what suffering truly is. And I, I certainly didn't expect such a massive change in direction from where the story started, but it still sends shivers down my spine, so at least that really hasn't um, been taken away, regardless of how much the story has actually changed, has developed. And yeah, there were a couple of volumes which I didn't enjoy as much because they were basically more of the same, but now that we're approaching the end, I think the action is picking up and the story is becoming more interesting once again so all of this considering that even villains are controlled by even more villainous villains so even the villains aren't actually the villains because it's all about mental control all about uh, manipulation and all about basically using humans as things that they aren't and giving them powers which even they don't fully know how to control which is a very insane concept but anyway that is all i had to say about dead men wonderland volume 8 today if you've read this one let me know what you think in the comment section and as usual make sure to like share subscribe check out the rest of my content and thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one very very soon bye guys